Imagine a world where water was precious, scarce even, but no one went thirsty. In ancient India, people didn't just survive harsh climates, they thrived. How? Because they didn't fight nature, they worked with it. Their solutions were so ahead of their time that even today we can't fully replicate them. Picture this, a bustling village in Gujarat, centuries ago. The land is dry, the sun relentless. But right in the heart of this desert stands a magnificent stepwell, Rani Kivav. It wasn't just a water source, it was life itself. Women lowered their pots down intricately carved steps, retrieving water so cool it felt like it had been kissed by the monsoon. This one, stepwell, could sustain thousands during the driest seasons. It didn't just store water, it preserved hope. Today we have skyscrapers, but can we build something so practical, so timeless? And then there's the Indus Valley civilization. Over 4,000 years ago, in cities like Mohenjo-daro, homes had bathrooms. Yes, bathrooms. These weren't primitive huts, they were well-planned urban marvels. Underneath the streets ran drains covered, mind you, carrying wastewater away cleanly. Modern archaeologists marveled when they uncovered them. This isn't ancient, they said. It's genius. Compare that to today, where even in major cities, drainage systems buckle under heavy rain. Let's not forget the countryside. In Rajasthan, farmers faced some of the harshest droughts imaginable. Yet they harvested water like artists. They built yohads, small earthen dams that caught every drop of rainwater and turned barren lands into fertile fields. These methods were so effective that even UNESCO recognized them as the pinnacle of sustainability. Imagine that. Lessons from the past being more relevant than ever. Now think about today. Every year, millions face water shortages. Lakes dry up, cities ration water. And yet the solutions are right there, etched in ancient stones and scriptures, whispering to us. We figured this out centuries ago. Why haven't we? The real question is, can we listen to the wisdom of those who came before us? Or will we continue to ignore it until it's too late? If stories like this resonate with you, if they make you want to know more about the secrets of our world, subscribe to Universal Insights, share this with someone who needs to hear it, and let's explore the brilliance of our ancestors together.